This potato soup is everything I'm wanting right now. It's warm and cozy, budget friendly, family friendly, and downright delicious. Let's make it. I'll start with about half a pound of bacon. You just want enough fat to saute your veggies in. You know, you're gonna use the leftover to crumble on top, so we'll get that going while I chop my veggies. This soup really is easy and fast enough just to whip up on any kind of weeknight, but comforting and cozy enough that you could just serve it for a good Sunday night dinner. The possibilities are endless. Get those onions good and finely chopped. Okay, push those to the side, and then I'm gonna chop up a couple stalks of celery. This soup is also hearty and filling enough that it can be the main dish for your supper. You could serve it with a little side salad. All right, once your veggies are chopped, we're going to peel and chop our potatoes. I'm using fresh raw potatoes, but if you wanna make this soup super quick for a weeknight meal, you could also use just some frozen pre-cubed potatoes. I like to keep my potatoes in some cold water while I'm prepping so that they don't turn brown. You could also do this step a day before, and then that really makes the day of super easy. You can just keep them stored in the water in your fridge. Our bacon's cooked, we're prepped and ready to go. Let's throw this in the pot. You just wanna leave about three to four tablespoons of bacon grease in your pot to saute your veggies in. Now this is where I will stray away from a recipe because that's what I do. I just can't seem to follow a recipe. I'm gonna make this whole soup in one pot. The recipe actually has you make the roux and the cream part in a separate one and then combine the two. I'm just, maybe I'm just too lazy for that. So I think I can do it all in one pot. I'm gonna show you how. We're getting those onions and celery and garlic nicely coated in that bacon fat. This is going to deliver the flavor throughout the whole soup. We're gonna cook this until the onions are really translucent and everything's soft. You can kind of help that along with a little salt at this point. All right, after several minutes, the veggies are nice and tender. I'm gonna go in with a couple tablespoons of butter. I'll let that melt and then I'm gonna whisk in some flour. You want equal parts fat and flour. Then you just wanna cook that starch out for a couple minutes. And then we're gonna add our potatoes and our chicken stock. I'm gonna drain the water from the potatoes first. And then we're gonna do enough stock to cover the potatoes. I like to rinse the side of my pot while I'm pouring it in. It's about a quart and it looks perfect. So at this point, we're gonna bring it to a boil, let it simmer until the potatoes are super tender. Told you it was easy. Let's check our soup. It only takes about 20 minutes. It's already like velvety, rich, creamy, and we haven't even added any cream yet, but we're going to. All right, so everything is pretty much done at this point. We have one final step. If you like it super chunky, then you're good to go here. I like mine mostly smooth with just a few chunks of potatoes in there. I'm going to blend about half the soup. To do that, I've just got my blender. If you have an immersion blender, this is a perfect time to use it. Mine broke a couple weeks ago, so I'm just gonna scoop out about half the soup. When you blend it, you wanna keep your blender top open so that the steam can escape. Otherwise, you're gonna have hot soup all over your face. And that's it. You can see it's just like, like a potato puree in there. We're gonna stir that back into the soup. Perfect. This is so easy and it's like a delicacy. I'm gonna stir in some heavy cream. Just bring it back up to temperature, season it with a little salt and pepper. Right now this soup is really rich and it's got that I've been cooking all day kind of flavor. So you wanna kind of wake it up and brighten it up. So I'm gonna show you how I serve it up. You can just feel the love in this pot right here. Top it off with some cheese. I told you I like it like a baked potato. That bacon we cooked earlier. I think I was supposed to cook the bacon in with the soup. I told you I have a hard time following a recipe. Lots of chives and why not a little more pepper. It's been a while since I had a bite this perfect. Mmm, it's just like a warm sweater covering your body. Just promise me you'll make this. You won't regret it and be sure and tag all recipes when you do. Also, let me know what other soups you're putting on this winter season. I'm a happy girl.